New at 7 on Good Day Columbus reporter Cameron Fontana is live in Franklinton to check out the deals there. Cam, what's going on? Hey, what's going on, Adam? Well, we are exactly one month away from Christmas. I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving yesterday. But today, we are taking a tour of probably one of the most Christmassy houses I have ever been in in my life. We are discovering the historic Franklinton this morning and talking about how you and your family can have some amazing fun in this city with a couple events that are going on. So that's coming up over on Fox 28. Wait till you see what other rooms we have. Look at that, guys. Oh, now I definitely feel in the holiday spirit. It is officially that time of year and around town. It is also that time of year for the historic Harrison house to turn into the Christmas house. Cameron Fontana, he is live there this morning in Franklinton. Cameron, good morning. Hey, good morning, Adam. That's right. We're a month away from Christmas. It's officially time. Everyone is allowed to listen to Christmas music, including <laughs> Trent from the Board of Trade here in Franklin. And Trent, I have right. to ask you, what was the first Christmas song you listened to this season? Uh, the first one I heard this year was White Christmas. White Christmas. White nice. Christmas. nice. Mine yeah. was Mariah. All I want for Christmas is you. It's just a classic. <laughs> but this is so neat because a lot of people don't know about what Franklinton is doing for the holidays. What can they expect today? Well, I'll tell you what, this is a great uh, asset that Franklinton has had for so many years, the Harrison House, and the Historical Society decks it out every year, yeah. and there's, there's just awesome decorations. It, it's such a historic place. We want people to come down and enjoy it. Now, what time can they start coming today? Uh, today and uh, t today, tomorrow and Sunday, they can be here from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Perfect. Yeah. And then there's also restaurants. I know Tommy's Diner, we're going to talk to you later. Spaghetti Warehouse has a special. Really yeah. getting people here to celebrate this historic city, right? Absolutely. You know, we, we get them down here for an attraction and then give them the chance to explore what's around them. And it, I think they're going to be pleased. Yeah. Now, speaking of exploring, this is just the entrance of the house. Now, yeah. coming up, we are going to take a peek at the rest of the rooms here. Look at this. And also, someone very special is here. Santa's in the house! We're gonna talk to him next and continue this amazing Christmas tour. Guys, you better get your Christmas list ready. Have you I'm seen Elf? Put in a good word. Have, Have you seen I've the movie seen Elf? Elf with Will Ferrell? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, every time I see Santa now, I think, oh my gosh, Santa! I, I know, know him. him. You're around town this morning. Santa is coming to town a little early. He sure is. He will be out at the Christmas house in Franklinton this morning, and that's where Cameron Fontana is right now. Lucky you, Cam. You're with Santa. I know, Courtney. I am with the Santa light. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to see the real Santa in a second, but we are very privileged because standing right next to me is his better half, Mrs. Claus. How are you, Mrs. Claus? I'm fine today. Thank you so much. So tell us this room because we walked through this house and there's so much to see. What have the elves and you set up? Well, first of all, we have this wonderful Christmas tree, and you'll notice going around it, there's a train. Oh, yeah. Here it comes. There it is. It's, it's a very special around. train. It's called the Garden Gauge Train. It can go inside and outside, but it's large. All so that, terrain, so it can be outside mm -hmm. at the North Pole and here in Franklin. That's right, and children love trains, so we have a train. Right. And what's this mountain? And this is new this year. This is Snowman Mountain, oh. and we have all these snow people in arrangement nice. here. And behind you over here, I love these because my family collects Department 56 houses. Yes. You have a little town set up. Yes, we do. Everybody likes their little villages for Christmas and a lot of people set these up and Santa has a large, large collection of them here. Wow. So, yeah. Now, speaking of Santa, right over here is the big man. Sorry, Santa, I've gained a little bit of weight since I was a kid. How are you, sir? Okay. So when are you going to be here that people can come out? Well, we're going to open today from 10 to 3, and tomorrow from 10 to 3, and Sunday from 10 to 3. So all three days, I'll be here all the time oh, and amazing. welcoming you to the Christmas house. This is the most decorated house south of the North Pole. Now, see, and, if you heard it And Santa, I mean that. Yes. You, I, you know it's true. And now, Santa, can I get some clothes this year? Because I like clothes now that I'm an adult. Oh, yeah. Yes. We'll get you some Christmas sweater. Yeah, some skinny ties and this suits. This sweater needs some color. <laughs> it needs it. some color. Yeah. More is coming up on Good Day Columbus. We're going to talk with Santa again. Also, some places you can get some food around Franklinton. So we'll see you right after the break. I'm just going to chill here. Oh. Millions of Americans will be putting up their Christmas trees this weekend. And Cameron Fontana is ready to join in all that holiday fun this morning. He is in Franklinton where everybody's getting into the holiday spirit. Morning, Cam. Hey, Marshall, we're inside this house right now because this is the actual house we're in. <laughs> is that right, Trey? Yeah, that's right. Oh, so that's tell right. me, this is so cool because this is like a small scaled down version of Franklinton, it, right? It, it is, yeah. Look yeah at, you, and what buildings are represented? Well, uh, we've, we've got the station, uh, fire station 10 down here on the end. 
Um, you, wow. You've got Holy Family Church here right next to where you just pointed out where we are. Oh, my goodness. And uh, and this house is very historic. I mean, when oh, was this yeah. built? 1807. 1807. So it's, it's, it's one of two oldest houses in central Ohio. Wow. And this is the last standing house from the pioneer era. Pretty I mean, much. What is that, 209 years old? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. And you go through here and you see so much Christmas cheer and joy. You know, yeah. this is perfect for families, right? Oh, it's awesome. Oh, yeah. this is great. So you start here, starts at 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm, you 10 can tour the house, but there's also other places in Franklinton that you can go. Absolutely. Because we would you have love, some coupons, right? We would love people to have lunch down here as well. Uh, and uh, we've got coupons for a free kid's meal to Spaghetti oh, Warehouse. Nice. But if you don't feel like spaghetti, yeah. you, you, there's Phillips Original Coney Island. There's Tommy's Diner. Uh, there's the Florentine, uh, there's Strong Water over in East Franklinton, so plenty of options. Plenty, plenty of, of options. options. Now, where can they get the coupons for Spaghetti Warehouse if they have families? If they come down here to visit Santa Claus today, they'll get a coupon to take with them. There it is, guys. So yeah, we're going to throw right it back there. to you. Here's the coupons when you come visit Santa. And coming up next, we are going to head to yet another room where they have kids' activities, Absolutely. Right? Ooh, plenty of stuff. Uh, we're going to toss back to you. we got some else. Look at the kids. Just show it. This is, this is Relax Santa. <laughs> you know what? He's got he's to relax because he has a big day coming up. Yeah. Let me know okay, the Christmas music in full swing at this ready. point. We're ready. here for the rest of the season. Another Thanksgiving in the books now, and that means that we can start turning your attention completely toward the next holiday, and it's a, one holiday at a time. Right. Well, you felt that way. I, I think a lot. Some people have had election fatigue so much. She's been listening to Christmas music since before Halloween. This is true. But now <laughs> it is socially acceptable to listen to Christmas music for everyone, and the entire neighborhood of Franklinton is getting in on the holiday spirit. All right, Cam. Oh well, it doesn't get any more festive than what Cameron's doing right now. He's Santa. He's hanging out with Santa. I'm telling you what, we got Santa to my right, we got Lincoln Logs in front of us, we got Trent working a Christmas puppet over here. If this doesn't scream Christmas, I don't know what does. But we're in the kids' activities room. We have Heidi and Vicky over there, our elves. Santa, this is where kids can play in here and really be hands-on, right? Right. When they first come in, the first thing they do is go to the toy yeah. room. Now, to your right is something very, very special. I've never seen anything like this. What is that, sir? Well, there is nothing like it. It's a one-of-a-kind. Earl Burwell made this. Uh, at the age of 82, wow. he finished it, and uh, he had been working on it from the age of 70. It took him 12 years 12 to make years it. 12 years and all hand-carved, correct? Every bit there is handmade. The carousel is all handmade. Wow. It's uh, quite a marvel. There's nothing like it in the world. Nothing. Now, there's so much to see here when you come to the Harrison House, but real quick, Trent, tell me, order of events, what time does it all start? When is it running? Okay, today, tomorrow, and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., uh, kids get a free uh, kids coupon meal for Spaghetti Warehouse, but then again, like I said earlier, you know, plenty of places to choose from. Uh, Phillips Coney Island, Tommy's Diner, all kinds of things to choose from Perfect. down here. Well, thank you for letting us come Absolutely. out here. Coming up next in the 9 o'clock hour, we're actually headed to Tommy's Diner, which will be open today. So we're going to toss it back to you, but I'm not going to go until all these are set. <laughs> we got to make we got to make a house big enough for all of us to live in. And you got to put in some good requests while you're sitting there next to Santa, too. Also this morning, Cameron Fontana is checking out Franklinton. He's actually headed to Tommy's Diner after he's hung out with Santa all morning. Hey, that's right, Courtney. So we're leaving the historic Harrison House right here in Franklinton, and we are headed west over to Tommy's Diner to continue the Christmas celebration that the city has going on. So we're going to just walk, I guess, Edwin, and we'll see you in about 15, 20 minutes. I think it's around the corner. Hey, what was that historic marker right there, Cam? It's right behind you. What? You just... That, oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, bye. Uh, uh, oh, Cameron, right, Cameron right, heard right, you. Right, there it is. There it is. Oh, it's the actual Franklinton. It's oh, it's about of... Lewis Sullivan. Got it. This morning, Cameron Fontana is getting in the Christmas spirit. He's also checking out all of the things that Franklinton has to offer. This seems like a walking tour, even. <laughs> He's hanging out this morning now at Tommy's Diner. So, what are you eating? Hey, that's right, Marshall. Well, we're getting ready to cook some food in the kitchen. We're here with Tom himself and a lot of happy people. How are you doing this morning? Yeah. A lot of people come here a long time. So, for people, if they've been living under a rock, Tom, what is Tommy's Diner? How long has it been here in Franklinton? Since 89, Since 20, 28 years now. Wow. And what sets it apart? I mean, you take a step back in time when you come in here. What do people love about this place? Everything. Atmosphere, food. I mean, 
There's nothing you can't love about yeah. it. Yeah, my prices, of course. Oh, the know. prices are good. We do want to talk about that. Now, one thing a lot of people get is breakfast. Let's see what we got over here. Oh, we got a chili fan, sir. How are you doing? Doing just great. Did you have a good Thanksgiving? You bet. If you could recommend one thing to get at Tommy's Diner, what would it be? Oh, the Angus burgers are oh, great. Oh, the Angus burgers. Yeah, is that what you're getting today? Uh, yes, that's oh, true. Oh, that sounds delicious. Now, Tommy did say one popular thing to get here is the breakfast. So we are going to head to the back right now. It's very busy here, by the way. And this that we're going to be introduced to is Brad. How's it going, Brad? Ben. Oh, Ben, I'm sorry, it's Ben. We learn a lot of people's names on TV. So, Ben, where are you going to cook up for us today? Uh, chicken and waffles. For chicken and waffles. Yeah. Now, I saw on the menu it's like Cajun chicken and waffles, right? Yeah, we use a Cajun breading. Really? Yeah. What's your favorite thing on the menu here? Uh, honestly, the gyros are really good. The gyros are really good. That's amazing. Okay, so what's the first ingredient for your chicken and waffles? Oh, uh, the waffle. Oh, the waffle. It's cooking right now? Yeah. How long yeah. until we can open that baby up? Uh, we got about a minute and a half. Oh, you know what? Perfect timing because following up in our next set, we are going to see the finished product. So you like the gyro. How long have you been working here in the back? Uh, a little bit less than a year. Less than a year. What's your favorite part about it, man? Uh, I don't know. Everybody here. Everyone's nice, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. That's great. So if you're coming out to Franklinton, Tommy's Diner is the spot. Coming up next, we're going to give you final details about the different places that you can stop around this town, really within walking distance. And, of course, you know me, we're going to take a bite of that Cajun chicken waffle. So we're gonna toss it back to you guys. I'm just gonna wait here patiently like a kid on Christmas Eve. Cam, if you want something decadent, present, if you want something decadent, ask him yes. about the stuffed French toast. Holy cow. Stuffed, stuffed French toast. That's probably what you're making right there, right? No, uh, this is the regular French toast. Oh, regular. What it? Oh. They got stuffed what? French toast somewhere. They got stuff everywhere. It's, stuff it's got goo in it and goo? on top of it, and there's fruit, and there's like this, I don't even, it's amazing. That gyro sounds amazing. Those are good, too. Mm. Those are good, too. Seven minutes before 10 o'clock now, and all morning long, Cameron Fontana has been checking out what Franklinton has to offer. This hour, he's been hanging out at Tommy's Diner, and we want to know if you've had the stuffed French toast. <laughs> Yes, that is what I'm holding right now, Courtney. This is the Cajun fried chicken waffle right here. I haven't had the stuffed French toast, but Tom, this is one of your best oh, venues, you better be, right? You, you better believe it, buddy. How many times have you had this dish right here? Too many to count? Can you tell? <laughs> Plenty. This Plenty. is delicious. So we got the, you know, the fried chicken. We got the waffles right over there in the syrup. Now, someone very special that we're going to enjoy some breakfast with. This is George. How are you doing, George? Hi. How are you? First, I want to thank you for your service. And please tell our viewers how you served our community here in Columbus. I was a Columbus firefighter for 31 years. Wow. Yeah. Thank you so much. And thank you've been you. coming to Tommy's for how long? For a long, long, long time. Probably 20-some years. Why? What's so special about it? Tommy. Tommy, just, Tommy. just for him, right? Yeah, just for him, if yeah. If he wasn't here, would you still be coming in? Uh, probably not. Probably not. Mm, probably not. Not no. six days a week. Not, not six days a week. Not six days That's a amazing. week. That's amazing. Yes, You yes. come in that often. Uh, I do. Now, yes, what do you normally order? Now, I know you kind of changed your diet up here recently, but what, what do you order on the normal? Now, according to my daughter, yeah. you, we'll keep this on the down low. Just not in front <laughs> yeah. of all the viewers yeah, don't, of Columbus. Don't this tell is a my daughter, okay? I love to have their uh, crispy corned beef and uh, eggs. And then I like to have a little something, something on the side, like orange juice. Ooh. But I don't anymore. Orange juice is healthy. No, they tell me it's got too much sugar now. You know what? I say it's healthy. You all can right, get, all right. you, know, you serve right. our community. Yeah, you can get whatever you want. Tell my daughter that, oh, okay? If she's watching right now, yeah, yeah. Let, let your dad enjoy it the day after Thanksgiving. Yeah, Please, yeah. what's her name? Uh, Andrea. Andrea. That Andrea. That is awesome. Well, it's exciting. And she works for the lawyers. She works for the lawyers. Oh, no, no, no. This was the VA. The VA. Oh, the oh, nurse. Now we're getting lawyer. all confused. That's that's now, Tommy, Debbie. tell me real quick. Yeah. 12 o'clock today, you have something very exciting happening. Yeah. Who's coming in here? Uh, alumni band from Ohio State. Five guys, they're gonna play music for the, for the Ohio State, you yeah. know. For the game getting ready for tomorrow, right? Yes, sir. For the last 15 years, they're here every Friday awesome. before the game. Well, if you're Go Bucks. Go Bucks. Well, if you're done with your shopping for Black Friday, don't forget the Franklin in the house is right down the street, 570 West Broad Street, Tommy's Diner, Spaghetti Warehouse. And there's one more thing we gotta do before we get to the game tomorrow. You guys ready? Yes. Oh, H! Oh!